holds Shemlin. Your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. There are others squatting in Kirkwall. They have given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They're Elven no more. What's a Shemlin? An Elven slur for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me. How this burden fell to you, child. Are you the leader of these Danish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind. To the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child, made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shirath. I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. You seem awfully nervous. 
I've never met a human before. Delish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. My name is Hawk. Glad to make your acquaintance, Meryl. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? Oh, I miss the cold. And the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no Darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Bellinar's amulet. And we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No. Not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Bellinar wind up in little pieces. Hanging from the trees. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. Let's get this over with. Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. You don't know how good you've got it. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know. But if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. Thank you. 
So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. The Dalish are one big happy family. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's go. We should hurry. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belanar isn't known for her patience. I can open the way forward. One moment. That was a summoning. That takes blood magic. Are you crazy? Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. I'll begin the right. Emma ira al bella serviranan. Isalahamin vinan him dofilas. In Uthenera narivas. Ah, and he. 
Here we are. Under Anatishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet. Though you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. A fragment? You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. What are you? A spirit? An abomination? This is no magic I've ever seen. <laughs> and you would know of spirits and abominations. I'm a mage. Of course I know of such things. Of course. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. Are we going to regret bringing her here? Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for your regrets, remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabelana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Serana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Elganar. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? If you think this is bad, you should see where I live. I didn't think...
think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. <laughs> of course. But only because you used that... You kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. I hear good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a mage, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Ferelden's lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You'd be surprised how people just tell me their darkest secrets. I must look trustworthy. You look... something. True. Proud. Like even if you don't agree with me, You'll be honest. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Kind, wise, and beautiful. You must have made a deal with some demons yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? Keep telling me I'm beautiful. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, I'm sure I can get more creative. No, I, I shouldn't do this. I don't want to hurt you. Why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago, maybe we could have had something. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the Templars. So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. I was worried they would fall out. Cameron. Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on some like that. Are you? The human the Fenril told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow. My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. 
Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Of course he is. That's just bloody great. <laughs> By the Paragons? Not so loudly? My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. Practically a guarantee. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Someone must have tipped them off. Anso's goods are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we have no choice but to go back to Anso and tell him. Not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. There's never a shortage of idiots who think they I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! <laughs> I apologize. 
When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. I take it these men were looking for you. Correct. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest, the one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Canari mage, a personal pet to mock Canari custom. Ouch. So, yes. I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Denarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Denarius. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. I am not afraid of you, Denarius! Everyone stay still and try not to... He sends spirits to do his fighting for him. Denarius, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us.
It is done. <laughs> Assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? I'm just trying to get by. Yet I have seen many crimes done in the name of survival. If you have a problem with my sister, you have a problem with me. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Daenerys. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. You said Daenerys is a magister, but little else. In Tevinter, the Magisters hold all the power. Over the Chantry, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. Daenerys had many, but none he valued so much as me. Then how did you get away? Is it not enough that I did? I carved my path to freedom in blood. I left that life behind. Yet his bounty hunters follow me no matter where I go. I will run no longer. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. I don't see that going very well for you. Neither do I. The truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal.
More mages. You talk. I'm going to ask the guards about their training. I know your face. I am Tobias. You and that man are both hawks. I remember your father. Malcolm was a good man. I found a letter you sent. About a friend of his you could not name. Ah, the Templar. Your father could not write to him directly, lest the Order find out. The Templar? He allowed your father to leave Kirkwall. Rule is not served by caging the best of us. A wise man. Not what I would expect from a Templar. There was a time when the rules of the Order could be interpreted to suit a situation. Unlike these days. I will send the letters I held. It seems fitting that they return to family. Such a friendship. Few like your father remain. Even fewer like the Templar. Rest well at the Maker's side, Sir Moravar Carver. Here, I got you something. Why? We ended on a tense note last time. Take it as you will. These are by father. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? I bet another mage could get more out of them. For your service that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, Conscience of the Order, Sir Moravar Carver. Carver? The Templar who allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prig? A father must have felt he was worth honoring. A man who let him look ahead. And a name that would always mean skill thoughtfully applied. Seems like he thought it held some promise. Not a link back, but how to go forward. That's what I was to him. I don't know what to say, except thank you. <laughs> 